Hey Stampers, I hope you all have had great holidays so far and will have a happy new year coming up. So I wanted to just start talking about some of the um, sets that will be in the new occasions uh, catalog that you probably have gotten already. And I want to start today with the one that's uh, featured on the front, which is the, the uh, Painted poppy set. So, um, let me just move that to the side. Uh, I'll show you on page 26 and 27. These are the sets themselves. So the, the stamp set, the Painted Poppies, is here. And the other one that goes with it is the Peaceful Moments, which I used the, um, the words out of. Now, with the Peaceful Moments comes in a bundle these particular um, dies. And then if you've got the bundle of the Painted Poppies, it has these dies. So um, just make sure if, you know, if there's a particular one that you want um, that you, you know, you make sure you're ordering the right set. Now, I point these out because, of course, celebration starts um, in January. And for anybody new, that means that for every $50 you spend, you can pick something out of this catalog for free. So either one of these bundles is $52, and that would then qualify you for a set. So looking at this set, I'm just going to kind of go over some of the cards. Now these two we made at the open house. We made the um, uh, this card, okay, and we featured, remember, the uh, DSP on the inside that was cut out. We used this cut out here, which... I'll bring it in is this one whoops can't see it is this one that just cuts out part of the card and then of course we cut out the poppy on the other set or the other uh, card we actually just stamped and I stamped all the way across the back this time and then put on a little piece of DSP and again put the DSP on the inside with one of the poppies so I just wanted to show you it comes also has some matching DSP that you can order, and that's $11.50, and that's all of these, um, these pieces, and they all coordinate beautifully with the set. So one of those pieces is just, it's like this, and I just, it's, this is literally just the piece of DSP with a cutout saying on, on the front of it. And I think that makes such a beautiful and easy, easy card. On this one, I stamped the um, the poppies again. These, oops, that puts kind of a glare across the front, and then used what I kind of call the splats. These um, these two here that just kind of put some color on there, um, and stamped that across the front, and then also stamped it on the actual background of the card. Now what's interesting about this one too is this is some of the new Whisper White crinkled seam binding ribbon and you can see it's kind of uh, wrinkly but you can also color it or stamp on it which is what I did on this one. I just took the splat and stamped on it. Another thing I wanted to point out about this one was that I wanted to tie it around this piece but I had already put it on the front of the card before I remembered that. So if you do that, all you have to do is I just took a small craft knife and cut just a little slit right here so then I could run the ribbon through and it wraps through the inside of the card. So then the other one that I wanted to show you from this is, this is the finished card. Okay, and I just, I think that that is just beautiful. So to do that, you just stamp the front of the card, then you're going to cut out a rectangle and cut it out of this piece, and then just mat it with a small piece of black behind it and put it back on the same card. Funny thing about this one was, of course, I stamped my sentiments before I realized that they would not then be on the inside of the thing. So that's a tip if you're going to do this kind of card, just stamp the flowers cut out your rectangle, then add your words. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you all at the next class, February 8th. And um, until then, if you have any questions, let me know, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.